turning the blade backwards plus safety Vern Kyle here today I want to show you a handy tool when it comes to grading change your center shift pin from the center hole and move it to the outside hole turn your mold board completely around now, I don't use this tool very often, maybe on the average or once a month, but it can be very handy. There's uh, certain circumstances when it comes to grading that this little tool is priceless. And uh, I'm going to show you more of it in, a, in the upcoming video. Now here I am, um, switching my blade back to normal, back to forward blading. Again, you shift your center pin out to one side or the other, and slide your blade, and turn your circle right around. Now you can see why the mechanics like to use this procedure for changing cutting edge because it exposes your nuts, as you see right there, it exposes your bolts. You will not damage your circle when doing this, because the gearing is identical 360 degrees in your circle. But when doing this procedure, be careful not to cut a tire with your blade or don't rip off your steps and yes I have done that it was in my crazy years here I am putting putting my center shift back to the back to the middle pin insert your pin and lock it and you're uh, you're back to normal grading again back to forward grading
turning your blade backwards, it, it has a, uh, it comes, comes in handy in a lot of ways. Not only for backblading, I've showed you backblading gravel before and stuff with it. Now imagine if I was actually pu pushing this pile back uh, with my forward blade. I would have to put my driver wheels out onto that sidewalk and possibly spin out on it, and, you know, and, and uh, it would cause a lot more uh, potential damage to that walk than doing this. By doing this, I can just jump onto this pile, drag it backwards, pull that pile out of there, and there's no problem. I wanted to freeze frame this for a minute and talk about CC's where I drew the red circle. It is an abbreviation for curb cock. It has that bizarre name because they are referring to the valve that is down about three meters. It is a one and a half inch hollow pipe with a cap on top. If you remove the cap and look down that pipe with a flashlight, you will see a control rod that is attached to that valve on the bottom. If you insert a special tool and turn that control rod 90 degrees, you would turn the water on. 90 degrees back, you would turn the water off. The CCs will be somewhere on your front property. And if you don't pay your water bill, the city may just use that special tool. Here's a tip. If you brush up against these CCs with your blade, it can cause the hollow pipe to contact the control rod, which can turn the water on. But the water line that eventually will attach to your plumbing system terminates underground. It can cause a large unwanted wet spot. frame I am going to talk about these green utility boxes the smaller one circled in black is low voltage it is a junction box for communication lines and there is no ground rods attached to it the larger one with a concrete base and circled in red is high voltage. It is a step down transformer and it will supply power to future homes. 
And I'm going to talk about it more in the next freeze frame. Here is the transformer box. Around the perimeter, there is a grid of four ground rods where I drew the red arrows. These ground rods are three meters long and the top of them are usually hiding just below grade. They should be installed 50 millimeters diagonally from the green box. Where I drew the green line signifies a bare copper cable, which is connected to each of the four ground rods. Of course, this copper cable is not energized. It is a safety feature that will divert stray electricity to the ground instead of the green box. To create these videos, I am using footage that I shot on the job site last summer. If you find these videos helpful or interesting, please like and subscribe. If you have some input, please leave a comment below.